Mauna Loa, volcano latest quakes and ground deformation. This is after uh, we had the 5.3 earthquake. And also today we had another Kilauea 3.2 earthquake and swarm. Now we have this increased seismicity and ground deformation at the world's largest active volcano, Mauna Loa volcano on the big island of Hawaii. This is on the watchers for now. Activity at the Hawaiian Mauna Loa volcano has arisen to levels comparable to a higher period of activity between 2014 and 17. This is according to the Hawaii Volcano Observatory. The last eruption of the volcano took place in 1984. While there is no cause for alarm, signs of higher activity include increased earthquakes and ground deformation around the volcano's summit. HVO scientist at large Tina Neal said, as reported by the Hawaiian Tribune Herald. The, Hawaii, the volcano has experienced up to 90 earthquakes a week since August, although most of the quakes have been mild, measuring two or less. She said, adding that the earthquakes on Mauna Loa dropped to less than five a week around 2018, but the deformation rates appear similar to how they were in the volcano's more active period starting in 2014. Uh, this is uh, one of the signs that the geologists look at before an eruption, the amount of deformation and the amount of earthquakes. Now, there is not as high as a, a highest deformation during that time, when some parts of the volcano measured approximately two inches a year. The increased activity comes shortly after the cessation of significant uh, Kilauea volcanic eruption activity. Uh, last year's eruption also began shortly after a decrease in activity at Mauna Loa. Isn't that something? While there is some geological basis to suggest a correlative pattern, this new activity will test the hypothesis. I remember when I was doing videos on um, Kilauea last year, uh, they had informed us in an announcement that the Mauna Loa and the Kilauea uh, magma chambers were connected and also that they were connected with the Loihi Seamount, which is another underwater volcano. So all this sec section, all this area of this big mountain, which is big, the big island Hawaii, which is made up of five volcanoes, is uh, most probably because of the fact that uh, they're so close to each other, they may be interconnected. Who knows? Now, an eruption could be anywhere from months to years away, Neil said, but we do know that it's not days or weeks away. Mauna Loa has not erupted with the frequency of Kilauea in recent years, but its 33 historical eruptions have, on average, generated much larger volumes of lava on a daily basis. Lava flows on Mauna Loa tend to travel much longer distances in a short period of time than those that we saw recently with Kilauea. Therefore, the warnings and notifications in the first few hours of an eruption are critical because uh, they have to do with public security. Mauna Loa, as we said, the largest active volcano on Earth. Eruptions typically start at the summit, and within minutes to months of eruption, about half of the eruptions migrate to either of the northwest southeast rift zone. Since 1843, this volcano has erupted 33 times. So you can understand, that's quite often. With intervals between eruptions ranging from months to decades, Mauna Loa last erupted 35 years ago in 1984. Eruptions there in Mauna Loa tend to produce voluminous, fast-moving lava flows that can impact communities on the east and west sides of the island of Hawaii. Since the mid-19th century, the city of Hilo in East Hawaii has been threatened by seven Mauna Loa lava flows. Mauna Loa lava flows have reached the south and west coast of the island eight times. These were in 1859, 1868, 1887, 1926, 1919, and three times in the year 1950. Uh, we remember what happened with Kilauea lava flows. They were going at 18 miles an hour. When you look at them, they looked like rivers. Really, they looked as fast as running rivers. Um, obviously, they, this magua was very wet. Now, from 2014 through much of 2017, a Hawaiian Volcano Observatory seismic stations recorded variable 
but overall elevated rates of shallow, small magnitude earthquakes between beneath Mauna Loa summit, upper southwest rift zone, and west flank. And during the same period, HVO measured ground deformation consistent with input of magma into the volcano's shallow magma storage system. Remember, a couple of days ago, uh, Ben Fiorullo noticed that uh, we do update his, upload his uh, uh, videos, which are Creative Commons. He's good enough to do that for us. And he analyzes um, earthquakes, usually in um, Yellowstone, but also, of course, other areas of the world, especially Hawaii. Um, and he did notice that there was a very deep, low-frequency earthquake in Hawaii before the 5.3. And the, the USGS didn't call it an earthquake, they call it an event. Event. Uh, they didn't want to do anything. He actually wrote them a letter, remember? He said, what was that event? It looks to me that it could be something very significant because he was trying to say that it could mean a volcanic eruption, uh, a, vo a volcanic earthquake. Um, and then we saw this 5.3 um, north of, uh, you know, just the other day, north of Mauna Loa. Now we have Mauna Loa deformation earthquakes, uh, swarms, and Kilauea 3.2 just today with earthquake swarms there. We'll do another video on that so I can show you. Um, okay, I don't know how many people call or write to the USGS asking for more explanations. Obviously not many. But those who are serious about it, Ben Fiorillo seems to be, uh, get some type of an answer from them, even though it's sort of uh, uh, um, not really, uh, it wasn't really an answer. <laughs> he says, I'm surprised at this, uh, at this event, at this type of, uh, of activity. It says, so are we. <laughs> but that's not an answer. He was just saying, yes, we are. Yes, we understand. We are surprised as well. That's not an answer. Uh, and then you get hit with this 5.3 uh, magnitude and earthquake swarm. The, uh, I think about 10 in the first hour or so, one of them being a 3.5. Um, and obviously, the whole island felt it. All of the Hawaiian islands felt that 5.3. And now we see um, activity in Kilauea as well. So, Mauna Loa, the biggest active volcano. Let's see what happened today. Today, the latest earthquakes, just for, just for today, uh, Monday, April 15th. We had a 2.2 at a 31 kilometer depth. We had a 1.7 at a 0 0.6 kilometer depth. Uh, that was about half an hour before that. Four hours before that, we had a 2.1 at 12 kilometers depth. Five hours before that was a 9.1. And again, at uh, two hours before that was a 9.1. And I'm getting this from Volcano Discovery. Uh, so you have uh, how many earthquakes did we have that today? One. Oh, before that, you had an 8.1, and before that, you had a 2.5. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven earthquakes up to now. Of course, that's just the beginning. And it's, uh, I would say that uh, we have, we're going to have another 20 or 30. This is only in Mauna Loa that we're talking about. Okay? We're not talking about all the other areas of the island. Uh, now, in uh, on Sunday, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and ongoing. At least 20 earthquakes on Sunday. This is all on Mauna Loa. Uh, activity update, Mauna Loa, unrest. Ends for now, alert back to normal, it says. Uh, let's see now. Let's read. That, that, that was for the earthquake. Sorry, I want to read about the uh, history a little bit. Mauna Loa is the world's largest and one of its most active volcanoes. It's a giant shield volcano on the Big Island of Hawaii. Mauna Loa, world's largest mountain and volcano is the archetype of a basaltic shield volcano in its late mature stage of life and only about 600,000 to 1 million years old, although not erupting as frequently as its younger neighbor Kilauea. It is also one of the most active volcanoes of the world. 
When it erupts, it erupts it, its eruptions are usually huge and produce large rivers of lava that have repeatedly threatened the town of, the town of Hilo. Mauna Loa rises almost nine kilometers above the seafloor, and the weight of the massive mountain has depressed the oceanic crust down by about eight kilometers, so the whole pile of volcanic rock produced from Mauna Loa is probably about eight plus five plus seven equals 17 kilometers. It has erupted eruptions both from its summit, occupied by a large caldera, and its northeast and southwest rift zone in, on the flanks. Almost 90% of Mauna Loa's surface is covered by lavas less than 4,000 years old, while about 50% of its surface is covered by lavas no older than about 1,500 years old, while about 25% are covered by lava flows younger than about 750 years. Hence, and placed after the formation of the Mokua Weweo summit caldera. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.